Hi, welcome to another Capture One tutorial. This time we're going to talk about five tips that can help you speed up your workflow. The first one is to temporarily revert certain adjustments. You probably know that if you hold Alt and click the Reset Adjustments uh, button in the toolbar, you can see the original image because all the adjustments are reset. But you can also reset selectively certain panels. For example, I'm going to reset this panel and it's done in the same way. You just click Alt and click to revert the panel. The second one is a trick to draw straight lines when you're drawing a mask. I'm going to add a new mask here and I'm going to select the brush. If I want to create a straight line from here to here, I don't have to just try to keep my hand steady. I can simply click the starting point and hold shift and click where I want it to end. And Capture One is going to draw a straight line. Another helpful tip is that, for example, if you're zoomed in you, and you want to, or you're using the brush and you want to drag your image for a little while without having to go and change to the hand, you can simply click and hold the spacebar and the tool will change to the hand and you can pan your image. Once you release the spacebar, it's back to the tool that you were using before. Another handy tip is that you can apply the same adjustment to different images. For example, I have these three selected. I'm going to select this one. And if I add a tone to this image, I can quickly apply the same color to the other images if I hold shift and click this double arrow icon. As with any other operation in Capture One, you can easily undo this. Finally, when you're cropping a certain image, it might be handy to have a grid visible. By default, Capture One only displays a grid when you're using the crop tool and you're dragging it. It doesn't even display that grid when you're show displaying this. However, we can change this behavior. If you go to Preferences, Crop, and change this in the Grid section when grids and Grid and Guides are on, you can choose a type. For example, I'm going to choose a third grid and I'm going to change the color. And I, I can also hide this. And now, if I click here, I can have my third grid, and it's displayed always, not only when I wanna when I'm cropping the image. I can also change the type of the grid to another one, like the Fibonacci spiral, and it's updated in real time. So when when we crop the image, we can adjust it to the place where we want. And that's it. These are the five tips to speed up your workflow with Capture One. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos about Capture One. And in the future, I'm going to do some more about Affinity Photo and photography in general. See you next time.